even though, even though we, have we have different problems, different problems. We, we accept ourselves. Accept ourselves. We, are we are aware of them. We know them. No. They are not hidden. No. They are ready to wash ready to out. out. I, really I really want them want washed out. out. Clear all my emotions. I want to heal. I want to heal. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I'm a brave lady. I'm a brave lady. And they are all brave men here. Okay, take a deep breath and release. Okay. Who told you this diagnosis five years ago? Which were your complaints? Um, the doctor told me that I'm well, it started with my skin. I was getting darker and darker, and my skin was getting tighter. Mm -hmm. And I was having the rhinos, and I didn't know what it was. So I went to see the okay. doctor. And she told me that I have a scleroderma and that I have only five years to live. Uh, because it's the worst one, the one that uh, diffuses scleroderma, it does attack. It's the, all the different type of scleroderma together. So. They're terrible doctors. Um, I have scleroderma patients living for 20 years you know, because I'm following them. That terrible doctor. That terrible doctor. She, she or he? She. That bitch. <laughs> that bitch. <laughs> Told me that. Told me. I have. That I have. Only five years only to live. Only five years to live. And look, it has been five years. And look, it's been five years. I am here. I am here. All the day around. All the day around. Asking the questions to every master. Every the question to every master. The most talking lady of the conference. <laughs> I deeply. I deeply. And profoundly. And profoundly. Accept myself. Accept myself. I will go, go to that doctor. I will go to the doctor. That bitch one. The bitch one. <laughs> and I say, I will say. And I will say. You see, you see, it has been five years. It has been five years. And I came. And I came. From hell. From hell. To take you away. To take you away. <laughs> because. Because. <laughs> because you because ruined my life for these five years. Because you ruined my life for these five years. Giving me this limiting belief. Giving me this limiting belief. Which I couldn't get over it. Which I couldn't get over it. I got many operations. I got many operations. My hands are and are my feet are cold. My hands and my I feet are cold. I have rain on. I have rain on. I hate all this stuff. I hate all this stuff. Just to take a deep breath and release it, okay? Every issue has many different aspects, okay? But you feel safe now? I'm a superwoman. Better woman. now? I when you like see your husband, woman. what will you do? I'm gonna kick him. <laughs> good, I kick him good. <laughs> and now, just sit here, okay? We have about five minutes for the questions to the mic, please. What came up for me from Miriam and, um, Nancy. Nancy. and Nancy is how do you, sorry, I'm bringing up the word death. And I have death, dying. How do you deal if somebody is, let's say, at any sort of, any sort of illness that can be either degenerative or terminal, even if it's not in terminal? Can you work with EFT? In fact, introduce it. There are like two ways you can go. It's the healing aspect. I can do it. But it's also the aspect of surrendering. Okay? It's like not defeat. It's not because we sometimes look at it as failure. We have to win. We have to heal. We have to go somewhere. Death is not, and I'm speaking from, I won't go into the very, very personal experience. Uh, twice of near death and guys it's not a big deal <laughs> it's our attachment and our working on the guilt but can you with EFT while you're doing this introduce death is okay I have to let the go you can. 